Francisco Tarraga was born 21st of November, 1852, in Villarreal, Spain. And I want to talk about his friendship, patronage of Enrique Garcia, the guitar maker who has just passed away 100 years ago, October 31st of this year. And so Targa had always been around guitar makers. He got his first guitar uh, that was made by Antonio de Torres in 1869. And that guitar was bought by Antonio Canesa on behalf of Francisco. Francisco in 1875 was, in 1874 actually, was going to the Conservatory of Madrid and he lived on Calle Jesus y Maria Bente Siete on Jesus and Maria Street, number 27. The uh, friends that he had at that time were uh, a guy, uh, Armand Go who would become a doctor and deliver one of his children, Forez and uh, Manuel Hill, who became a priest. He also knew Jose Francisco de Paz, who was a guitar collector. Uh, Paz owned a 1808 guitar that belonged to Aguado, and he also owned the 1856 Taurus guitar that won the award in Sevilla in 1858. And so when Tarraga lived on Jesus y Maria, 27, in Madrid, when he would walk to the Conservatory of Music to take his classes, he would always pass by the guitar shops. There are at least five guitar shops on that street, and he was about a mile away from Cava Baja and other streets that had dozens of guitar makers making a lot of flamenco guitars and classical guitars. Targa played at the Alhambra Theater in Madrid and uh, Circo uh, Theater and uh, Jovellanos. He taught Matthias de Salamanca and Marquis de Llanos. They were very rich members of the Spanish society. And he did, gave lessons to Clemencia Irende, whose father was a doctor. And they were in uh, Castellón in Valencia, Spain, where Tarraga was from. November 19, 1878, he did concerts in Valencia, Murcia, and Andalusia. He became listed in the Saldoni uh, Book of Ephemerides in 1879. Tarraga was 27 at that time. And at that time, the most famous guitarists were Miguel Mas. Francisco Targa and Julian Arcas. Other contemporaries were uh, Jose Broca, Antonio Cano, who taught at the Francisco Gonzalez guitar workshop in Madrid from 1857 to 1865 or more. Also, uh, Trinidad Huerta was one of the contemporaries. He was a very good composer. Transcripts of operas were the rage. We see that Arcus Sor and Aguado pieces were played by Targa in concerts. In Valencia, he uh, tried to do a concert, but skyrockets were lit off, and uh, the failed concert uh, didn't take place. 
Later in uh, 1879, he went to Alicante. Arcus's uh, health was in bad state. He did a concert, benefit concert for Julian Arcus. Uh, intro to uh, Luis Soria. Soria was born a year to the day before Taraga, November 21st, 1851. Taraga born on the same day in 1852. In uh, May of 1880, on the 30th, he was called the Sarasate of Guitar. In the winter of 1880-1881 in Alicante and Manovar, he did concerts uh, for Soria. It was in Novelda. He got sick, and Targa canceled his own concerts to fill in for Luis Soria. Targa met his future wife uh, right after that, Maria Rizzo y Rebeles. She was from the town of Novelda. On the 6th of February, 1881, Tyra declared his love for Maria, and she answered him on the 11th that she was willing to be his love of his life. On the 2nd of March, 1881, he left for Paris. He was invited by Julian Arcus to do concerts there, and he uh, went to Alicante in Valencia, then on to Tarragona en route to Barcelona. But he got arrested in Tarragona for desertion of the army. But as things uh, got checked into, uh, when he was taken to Castellón, uh, they found it was an error. He had completed his service and he was released. He went back to France, played in Port Beau played in Nice and Lyon, private concerts. Then at the Opera House, he gave his girlfriend Maria a gold bracelet by mail. That was after a hostess of a hotel had made a pass at Francisco. He got to meet Luis Pasteur, very famous scientist who we're all indebted to for uh, discovering penicillin. He got to meet Princess Matilda and Baron Rothschild, Rothschild being a very famous uh, banker. May 16th, he was still in France. He got a review in Paris in the Encyclopedia Espasa. He was compared to Sarasate as well as Anton Rubinstein, the pianist. He left France for London. He, he met Madame Sidney Pratton. I'm certain she talked to Francisco about having done duets with Giulio Rigondi. He had passed away in 1872. Targa did concerts with Madame Sidney Pratton in 1881. He was offered a contract to go to New York, but he told his wife in a letter, I should say, uh, told his girlfriend, his fiance, in a letter, and she nixed that in the bud. She said, oh, we'll be apart too much. That's a real shame because Targa would have wowed the crowds in the United States, much like Miguel Yobet did in 1912. Francisco got married to Maria on the 29th of December, 1881, in Novelda. And on April 5th, 1882, uh, Targa did a concert tour of Murcia, Almansa, Cartagena, and Orihuela. And uh, his wife, told him that she was pregnant on the 5th of 1882. At this time he had students that were deadbeats. These were uh, not the famous students such as uh, Fortea, Pujol, Pratt, it's at Miguel Yobet, but he would accept payments for lessons that he gave and they said, well, I'll be able to send you the money later. 
Some of the people sent the money they promised and it arrived late. Others uh, never sent the money at all. In Castellon, he played piano for six reales a day. That's 30 pesetas. And he played in a casino. Dr. Armengo delivered baby on the 31st of October, 1882. That was Maria Josefa. February 6th, 1883, he plays a concert in Circolo de Bellas Artes, actually on the 30th of March, 1883. He visits Augustine Mondorte in Zaragoza. He sees Julian Arcas, Antonio Cano, also visits with his student, Pedro Maza Barranco. Pedro Maza eventually went to South America, and he's uh, one of the 175 biographies in my book, Annotations for the History of the Classical Guitar in Argentina, 1822 to 2000. Four volumes, $300, it weighs 21 pounds. That includes shipping. He was offered a conducting job in Madrid theater, but it burned down the night before the first concert. That was a theater called the Recreos Matratenses in Madrid. On the 28th of October, 1883, he played in the Circolo Canadense. He remained in Novelda till the end of the year, and in a large part of 1884, Francisco Jr., uh, I should say Francisco Taraga Ijo, Paco Jr., was born 15th of May, 1883. Targa traveled to Barcelona to do concerts. Soon the family moved to Barcelona. After, Siri, after a series of residences, Maria Rosalia was born on the 15th of September in 1885. Targa's father died in Castellón later in 1885. Later in 1885 as well, Antonio Canessa, who bought Targa's first 1864 Taurus in 1869, also passed away. In 1886, Targa stayed with the guitar collector, Dr. Jose uh, Paz, while the family stayed in Castellón and Novel the city of Norel Novelda. Francisco suffered uremia and his friend Mr. Paz picked up the tab. He did a concert in Perpignan, France. It got reviewed. In late 1886, he gets reviewed in Artiaga's book, Celebridades Musicales. On the 23rd of July in 1887, his daughter Concepcion was born on uh, Carrera San Luis in Barcelona. Then they moved about two miles away to uh, Carrera, which means Calle, which means street, Carrera del Rosalón. 185. And later they moved about 2,000 feet, 650 meters, a little less than a half a mile, to Calle Valencia 234, 234. And this was the location where he uh, lived about 1.3 miles away from the Enrique Garcia shop. Once he was settled in Barcelona, his guests were people like Enrique Granados, Isaac Albanis, uh, Joaquin Malatz. Also composes uh, Gula, Millet, Rotoreda, and Pablo Casals, famous cellist who was very young at that time. On the 3rd of March, 1888, there was a review of a Seville concert in the El Tribuno uh, newspaper. 
He played a concert the 10th of May in 1888 in Cadiz. He moved to Valencia to do concerts in 1888 in at least five different locations. He spent three years in Valencia. That's where he met student. Call from the tennis page. 